I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be doing one of our kids classes. We're doing a summer series for you. We're trying to make them fun and inexpensive so that you can keep the kids busy this summer. There's going to be some simpler ones to a little bit harder ones, but no, these are also great for adults alike. So we hope you enjoy this. Today we're going to do a little snail with some grass on a wood slab. So we hope you enjoy this this one. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is pick up a little snail and these are the little wooden pitcher guys and they come of course uncolored. They come with little markers and I did go ahead and use my markers to color my little snail guy there. You could also paint them if you wanted to instead and today I'm going to be using red orange, green, and black crayon on our little snail. And if you've never worked with the process, there is a great video on how to do the basic wax technique. So um, be aware of that. So let's just start. I am just going to put some little squiggles down in his tail. And I'm just kind of going with the curvature of the design or the snail body and we're just adding color down in there and I'm going to just bring that around and add a couple just kind of wherever you think those need to go and maybe a little bit smaller one down at the tail just to throw some color in. These are really fun little guys. The wood things are only a dollar. I found this one at Michael's and all we're doing is just simply bringing it to life a little bit more. So I am going to come in and I'm using my number one tool and I am just walking strokes up to the second line that this has got in here and we're just going to keep bringing that around and when you're working with the kids make sure that they do the initial warm-up of the tool or this will not be working well for them and as long as they're going back and forth and not holding it out which they seem to do better than us adults do they will be just fine watch your fans or air conditioning if you happen to be sitting under fans or air conditioning it is summertime a little bit hotter in some places and we're just following this design. There's also different types of wood guys like this. So you could do a few of these. You don't have to think about just one of these. Trying to figure out how we kind of did this little guy here. And I'm just going to follow this around a little bit. And just bring some color in there. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just add dots in the second thing. And that just really sets the strokes above it off. And when you're doing dots, especially when they're a little bit bigger, slow down a little bit so you don't get those flecks as much. And make sure that you don't keep it nice and clean. If the flecks don't bother you, that's okay. to the end of that. So we've got his little body done right there and I am going to come in here with my green and I'm using going over the green and we're just going to pull some strokes in this area just to kind of fill that up and then I'm going to do some little eyes and his antennas. So I've got the, we're going to do a little guy right there and a little guy right there. Now I'm going to put the small in. This is my zero tool. It's got the real small small 
in my red to warm up for a minute and we'll put a little bit of color on his mouth but now I'm taking my number two tool, the smaller end, and I'm going to put some dots on top of his antennas. You can always come in with a little bit of white or a little bit of white on a paintbrush and put reflection in his eyes as well. And then we're going to put a little bit of a smile on him. So we've completed that part. At this point in time, what I would do is I would remove this and the plastic part and go outside and varnish it with your spray varnish. Because you don't want to get the varnish on the plastic and keep it there. And then put your picture in and then put that back up. And then what I did on mine is I took a glue gun and I glued him in place just like that and I found some Easter grass and while it was still warm, I put it in front and back of him. I think another cute idea, now remember, if you happen to put the hot glue gun over the wax part, it will melt it. So I want to kind of keep it off of that, but I want to put some grass here and kind of try and get it where the ends aren't all sticking out. And we're just going to add it to the bottom of the snail just to give it some life here and then another cute idea is to take a barbecue stick now remember you've already put your picture in there and you would glue the hot glue the barbecue stick on right down the middle of your snail and hold that into place while it dries but then you could stick it in a a plant, an indoor plant, or you could also stick it into little clay pots to make um, a little holder for that, or even um, names for a party or decoration or anything like that. So there's a variety of little things that you can do with that. I did come in afterwards and trim this off with the scissors. You could even add a little bow right there if you wanted to decorate it up a little bit more, make it a little bit more fancy. But that is our little snail. I hope you enjoyed that. Come back and join more of our kids' classes as we continue to do them for you. And if you have any questions, please email me at art at miriamjoy.com. For any of the products, visit my webpage at miriamjoy.com. There's a YouTube link so you can find more of these fun classes. And there's also a Facebook link, and you don't have to be a member. Just jump on over and see what we've posted for you that day. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for taking time to have fun with us this summer. God bless.